Okay, so you can be honest with us, and Anthony is not going to beat you, okay? Because you're not on his truck anymore. <laughs> but how, how is he? Is he is he a good guy? Is he good? I mean, be honestly, like he's one of the best guy, and I'm actually um, really happy that I got him for for a trainer. I do a lot of shopping on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> one one day I had ordered a lot, and. Um, my husband took a picture of it and there was like boxes you know by the front door and he says he goes oh he says Linda Domini do you see a problem with this well I posted yeah I need a bigger doormat don't worry I'll order one <laughs> <laughs> so how you been doing Anthony oh, I've been doing great Steve. we covered you in a driver profile a while back what have you been up to since then same old same old still out driving training tra training uh, new drivers nice how, how's Nate doing he, is he doing good Nate's doing really well. He's doing really well. I see him posting stuff on uh, Facebook all the time where he's always uh, smoking brisket or chicken or something. So <laughs> That's good. If Hi. Linda was a nightlife number three, women in yeah. yeah. Oh, and you did the other video, right? What do... Oh, what are drivers... Um... Well, gosh, what did we call it? it? Was for driver appreciation yeah, where I did the yeah name something that drivers don't deliver. That's what it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. That, that was, was awesome. Yeah, that was yeah. a lot of fun. That was actually a lot of fun. I don't know if you got a chance. To no, watch I haven't that. seen that. But I have to check that one out. That one was so much fun. We we literally went to Tanger Outlets and we just sat down on a bench and we asked customers that were walking by, uh -huh. tell me something that a driver doesn't haul. Right? Yeah, we got some funny. They yeah, could. they couldn't come up with much. There were some definitely some funny ones. For yeah, sure. there so. were some funny responses. Since my last video, um, I moved to be the. I was the executive assistant to Dave Jackson, um, who also was in the nightlife. What was he? Nightlife four? I think it was I think four. So, yeah. Um, uh, Dave Jackson, who's president and CEO, I was the executive assistant to him. He helped mentor me. Um, taught me a lot. My gosh, the man's okay. brilliant. Um, then after that, my current role, I'm now the vice president of driver development. Ooh, so I work okay. for you. Cool. I work for you. I tried to better um, all of your your life out over the road. All right, we've got um, a driver over here, but he ain't paying attention. Otherwise, I'd wave to him. So tell me, you this one now has the. Um, I guess we can tell him we're in a brand new Kenworth. Um, that that uh, mirror. Do you like having the extra mirror on this? Does yours... That makes a big difference having the the both mirrors. The both mirrors. Yeah. And I noticed that's that's one thing. The 2019s and newer has the two mirrors. Yeah, that makes a difference, huh? Makes a big difference. Yeah. So we had um, a few drivers tell us on uh, Facebook on the We Drive Night Facebook page that they would. They really like those mirrors, and so um, we went over to Dave Williams, who is uh, the guy who buys all the equipment for both Knight and now Swift, and um, told him, hey, they're looking for these mirrors, and voila, they there's the mirrors, um, which is kind of nice. I kind of like it as a passenger because now I can actually see what's going on, because this well, one I can't see out of. Well, now, you always had the mirror on the passenger side but not that one but not on the driver's side right and so now I can because I can see what's going on there I can see what's going on here whereas before I couldn't see not that it mattered I'm not driving I don't even have the all I have is the invis invisible uh, brake pedal you know how your passengers are brake, <laughs> hey. and they're pressing the ground like if they can make it stop <laughs> as a trainer I always tell students as a trainer you know you're lucky I don't have a that a brake pedal over there. <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. Well, look at there. We got a million miler there. That's a million miler truck. Yep. That's nice. So I noticed on yours that you had the 500 on your thing. Just hit 500,000. You just hit it. Just hit it. That last is month. awesome. And did and how long have you been for night, working with night? Uh, coming up to five years. Five years. You did five hundred thousand in less than five years. Yes. Incredible. You're a hustler. That's it. 
You know, we always say, the wheels ain't turning, you're not earning. That's right. Have you gotten your, your swag yet? Yes. Okay, so you've already gotten your swag and you got an increase. Yes. See? Check that page stub. You got I, an increase. I will. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even notice didn't you got an notice. increase. Didn't That's because that. you're out running. You ain't even got time to look at your paycheck. It's a direct <laughs> deposit, you know hey. It just shows up. It shows pays up. The bills. That's it. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, you got an increase. Because you get an increase every hundred thousand. So Good deal. which is which is exciting. When I knew I knew when they started that program they the guys that were already over like the two hundred thousand, when they implemented it, they backed it, you know, so if you only had twenty thousand to the next hundred thousand, they retroacted it so you didn't have to do a hundred thousand from the time they started it. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes, that is correct. That's correct. I just try to make it as fair and as transparent as possible for the drivers. Knight's always been a fair company, you know. It's, I tell guys, I said, there's no point in, if you're starting a new, as a new driver, I'm like, the one thing that you cannot do out here is jump from company to company, chasing the money. Yep, you're right. I'm like, yeah, you got companies that'll tell you, they'll pay you 52 cents a mile, but how many miles are they guaranteeing you? That's true. That's true. And are they truly paying you 52 cents a mile? Or is that 52 cents a mile including bonuses, layover, breakdown? Because, you know, that they play a lot of games. Uh, we're not big into the games. We just want to just be transparent. So. And, you know, that was, that was one of the biggest reasons why I chose night too. Oh, yeah? Well, one, for the in-house training program. And then, two, because... When you went on the uh, online, mm -hmm. doing the driver search, seeing what other drivers are saying about Same. the company, seeing what the companies are, how the companies are promoting themselves, uh, with anything, you're gonna find some negative. Oh, absolutely. But when you go through and you start reading the negative comments, you can kind of weed out, okay, this was a disgruntled employee for whatever reasons, right. not to do with the company. Right. You know. And I kept coming back tonight. Yeah. So. That's awesome. That's awesome. And that's a true statement, too. I mean, uh, we don't go out there and delete any of the posts that, that are negative because, hey, you know, that that person, you know, on their way out, that was their, that was their right to do if that's what they chose. We hate it. And we'd love to. Um, if, I know if I see and I can tell who the driver is, I'll at least reach out, reach out to them, you know? And the other thing that I saw quite a bit of, drivers that had left the company, you know, and some, some guys was honest, they're like, look, it just wasn't for me. They're not a bad company, it just wasn't for me. Yeah. And then there was a lot of guys like, look, if you're a new driver starting out, you can't go wrong with night. So my, my favorite is, so every week we get to meet the new drivers here at Buckeye that are going through the DQP. Uh -huh. Um, and so they come up to the north office where, where I'm at. If I'm not here at Buckeye to meet them, I at least get to have lunch with them most of the time. They're um, at the north building. And my favorite is to ask them, sorry, why did they quit? Um, you know, why are they coming back? What happened? So it's pretty interesting to see um, their responses. Um, but, it's, but it's definitely uh, wonderful to see that, hey, you know, sometimes things go, things go wrong and um, you, you test out a different company and then you find out, hey, it, it wasn't what was promised. And, it, and if, if nothing else fails, at least we're honest. Yep. We're 100% honest. And I see it all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, know, you know, training these guys, they leave and then you won't see them for a while. Yeah. And then they, they, like you said, they come back. I've had one guy that I trained twice. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, training the first time, he left after about six months. And he uh, went back to driving buses. Wow. Okay. And he stayed going for about probably about a year and a half. So because he didn't had, didn't do it full year, uh -huh. he had to go back through 
a ride along with a trainer. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> so so you came, got him again. <laughs> so when he came back, he he asked for me specifically when they rehired him. Wow. So Can I, I have my old trainer back? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you tell him you shouldn't have left? I, We'd have been well, done training. I told him. I said, see, if you'd have stayed, you'd have two years already. <laughs> You're gonna come up on your two-year anniversary. That's awesome. So how long have you been training for us? Uh, four years. Four years. So, wow, you came in five years, one year later, boom, I want to train. Yep. That's the way to do it. You know, I'll give you a little bit of my background. I, uh, I'm retired Army. Okay. Well, I thank did, you for your service. You're welcome. I did 22 years. And in that 22 years of travel, I did two years drill sergeant time. Oh. <laughs> Oh boy! So and the one, did you did y'all wear the big oh brim yeah. hat and have to hit people in the <laughs> walk up to them and do oh like yeah. this? <laughs> well, you, technically you couldn't hit them with the brim of the hat. Yeah, well we know. <laughs> we don't have to. We don't have to say it on camera. <laughs> you just kind of walked up, you know, put it right there, like, and whispered in your, you know, whispered in their ear. Like, okay, Private, when I get you back to the barracks, you belong to me, buddy. <laughs> I'm sure you had a good old time with that. Oh, yeah. Because I'm, I'm like yelling at them. You yeah. know, they just turn you off. It's true. It's true. So 22 years. Yeah. Wow. So did you jump? Oh, Were you airborne? No. no. My initial contract was airborne. Oh, yeah. And uh, I had to retake the physical and the doctor mis misclassified me uh, the trait of sickle cell. Oh. In my record, I carried a trait. So he misclassified it as me having sickle cell, uh, which is an automatic uh, no. disqualifier from airborne school. So by the time I got it out of my medical records, I thought twice about, do I really want to jump out of airplanes? And it's like, uh, no. Yeah. I'm not big on jumping from, the, from an airplane. Although I'm thankful for those that do, um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not big on that. I have a son-in-law who is uh, in the army currently. Okay. And he's airborne. Um, so I hear the stories from him and my daughter who. Um, so he's at Fort Bragg right now. Uh, no, they're not. They're they're in Virginia right now. Um, but they were. They're now in Virginia. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, well, my twin brother was uh, airborne. Oh, so you got a twin? Yes. Wow. So are y'all identical or fraternal? Fraternal. Fraternal twins. Okay. So who's older? I am. 20 minutes. 20, 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Oh, my gosh. Your poor mother. <laughs> well, yeah, well, it was only supposed to be one big kid, and then... Uh, it turned out, nope. Nope. <laughs> Two smaller ones. <laughs> They're like, we're mistaken. There's actually another baby in there. In the 60s. So they really didn't find out until right then? Yes. Oh my God. Can yes. you imagine? Oh my gosh. So you're married? Yes. And do you have children? No children. No children? I'm married 29 years. 29 years? As of the seven. Of? This month. Oh, well, happy late anniversary. No, next month. That's, this is March. Still. This is March. No, April. Okay, seventh of April. Seventh of April. Okay. All right. So, 1990. I will have been married 29 years as well, but it'll be July of this year. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, what does your wife do? She is an accountant. Ah. At the Nautical Beachfront Resort in Lake Havasu. Oh. Wow. Well, that's nice. Yeah. That's really nice. At least she got a pretty view. <laughs> right? Yeah. Every day she goes to work, it's a beautiful view. That's it. That's it. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, I promise you, she's seen your penny raise. She knows. <laughs> she knows you got that increase. So sure, she probably does. A hundred percent. If she does the book, she knows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's seen it before you did, without sometimes a doubt. I, sometimes I'm like, this is a good thing or a bad thing being married to an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> that's true because she knows every penny that's she knows it. Where, where it went <laughs> that's so funny um, so where have you been you know in the service how long 
you were here for 22 years, so where have you been stationed? Let's see, I started out at Fort, well, basic training at Fort Knox, Kentucky. Kentucky. And then my first duty station was uh, Fort Stewart, Georgia. Okay. And then from Fort Stewart, Georgia, I went to Berlin, Germany. Oh. How long were you there? Uh, two years. Two years? And then from Berlin, Germany, back to Fort Knox, Kentucky for 13 months. And then from Fort Knox to Korea. Oh, what, which which base in Korea? Uh, Camp Casey. Okay. In uh, Tondashan. Okay. And then from there, I was two years, and then from there to Fort Lewis, oh, okay. Washington. That's where I met my wife at Fort Lewis. Uh, I was there about 18 months, and then from there we went to Fort Bliss, El Paso. Oh, El Paso. And then from there that was Desert Shield, Desert Storm, and then after three and a half years there, drill sergeant duty at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Mm. And then after drill sergeant duty, Fort Jackson was Fort Carson, Colorado. Oh, went from nice and sunny to <laughs> cold. cold. <laughs> and then from Fort Carson, Colorado to Camp Shelby, Mississippi. Oh. And that was okay. a, that was three years. That was a uh, active component, a reserve component training training command. Oh, wow. So for three years we basically trained National Guard and Reserve units. Okay. All right. And then from there I went back to Korea for a year and then back to Fort Carson is where I retired. Same base in Korea? No. no. This is the second time I was at uh, Second Infantry Division headquarters in uh, Itaewon. Okay. And then from there back to Fort Carson is where I retired. Okay. And then, you know. My husband is retired Air Force. So what year did your husband retire? He retired in 2009. Okay. I believe it was 2009 or 2008. Good gosh. No, it was 2008. It was okay. 2008. Because I retired in 2003. 2003. All right. And he and my husband retired right here outside of uh, Luke Air Force Base. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the military definitely is a good life. I tell you, you make long lasting friends. And the best part, I think, is it can be friends who you haven't seen in 10 years, 15 years. But when you meet up with them, it's like they never left. Yeah. It's a bond that just can't be broken. That's it. You know, it, 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 it's such a strong bond. It's incredible. It's nice to um, to reach out to those to those it folks. Is. You know, and I feel like no matter where you go in the country, chances are you're going to know somebody who's living close by. And I don't know what it is about military members, but when somebody says, hey, I'm going to be in, like they'll tell her, hey, Linda, I'm going to be in Vegas. We're going to drive to Vegas, Vegas to see him, yeah, right? That's it. I mean, I don't, Especially it, that's if just, it's somebody that you hadn't seen him forever, right? I mean, it's yeah. just what you do. That's, I've got a buddy in Kentucky, and whenever I get through Louisville or anywhere close, I'll call him up and say, hey, I got time to stop for a couple hours, or I'm just calling to let you know I'm, I'm coming, Pass you know, through. passing through. Yeah. And if I've got a couple hours to burn, he's, he's, like, he's going to show up. Yeah. You know, he's like, yeah. all right, I'll come get you wherever you're at, and we'll go have lunch or whatever. This actually doesn't drive too bad. No, you like it? I'm getting used to it. Yeah. I'm getting, I mean, it's different from your truck. I think I like the, the the layout of the international a little bit better. Yeah. The this part of the dash in the international was flatter. Oh. Here's a nice thing about having the mirror on this side. So right now that car's in my blind spot. Uh huh. And I can see it without having to look. Oh yeah, you're right. We need these on passenger cars. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, in Europe, the, the mirrors used to be on the hood. Really? Yeah, you look at some of the uh, old British sports cars and things, the mirrors were yeah. on the hood. I 
I mean, it looks right before, you know, just one mirror is kind of, at least now they're balanced, right? Right. I like it because, like I said, now I can, I know when I was driving with Sue, um, I could see, but I couldn't, and I don't know why, it's not like I need to see, right? I'm a passenger, I can't steer the truck, but it is nice to be able to. So, hey, slow down, yeah. look out. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how many trainees you've had? Let's see, four years. I've probably had probably about 35. Wow, that's incredible. That's absolutely incredible. So probably eight months out of the year, let's say you get an abundance of females for whatever reason in a particular class cycle. And how do you accommodate that when you don't have... The female trainer. trainers? It's a struggle. It's a real struggle. Um, and sometimes they gotta unfortunately you gotta wait you gotta wait for the for the female driver to come the females we struggle sometimes you know they gotta sit and unfortunately you gotta wait for a female trainer but there are a few um, trainers that they can put them with that um, and there could be a case where you've got somebody say in Lakeland Florida that now we've got to get them all the way to Tulare to right. get them with a trainer you know I mean that that happens um, that's why it's important that we get enough, you know, female trainers, as well as we need male trainers always. I mean, it's 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 tough. It's tough for sure, for sure. Which we've got a we've got quite a few uh, female drivers out there. Shout out to the dames of night. That's what they <laughs> that's what um, they created their own Facebook page, and they're, they're okay. called the dames. Um, as a matter of fact, they created a pen that's that's already been designed and ready to go. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, you'll see those coming out as well. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, that, that was a question I've always had. Yeah, how do you, what do you do with these female trainers when you don't have enough? Yeah, it, it, it's a true struggle, it really is. That's why we, you know, that's why we encourage, you know, so many people to, to, to train. Not to mention, I mean, hey, you get a little, you know, you make extra money to have somebody on the truck, and you're not by yourself in the truck. Okay, so you can be honest with us, and Anthony is not going to beat you, okay? Because you're not on this truck anymore. <laughs> but how how is he? Is he is he a good guy? Is he good? I mean, be honestly, like he's one of the best guy, and I'm actually um, really happy that I got him for for a trainer because I I heard you know uh, all the story from from my buddy from class and stuff, and like once in a while he, he told me like story about like other trainer and stuff. And I, you know, I'm really happy. Like he's my trainer, and I, it, it's he like really knowledge, and it's not just that, but it's like the personality. Like when you ride with somebody, like you live, you live with somebody. Right. You know the attitude. The attitude and the personality is like is is matters. You know, you, so it, yeah, like we get along really well, and and yeah. And how are you doing out there? Are you doing good? Yeah, I mean, as far as I know, you know, I, I don't get... And you're liking it? Yeah. Um, although, yesterday morning, Jesse called me, it's like, oh, you know, like, uh, he checked on my, my uh, points. And it's like, you, like, really good, because, like, I got three points. Oh, the smart uh, drive. Yeah, the smart drive. Uh, yeah, so it's like, oh, that's, that's you got bonus for, for this month, because uh, you got three points, you know. I was like, oh. Yeah. Wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. Bonus, hello, yep. extra yep. check, let's yep. take Anything it. Anything helps, you know. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. Nice. You're like, I'll dig it. Yep, yep. You still stay in touch? Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Still call him uh, once in a while. <laughs> that's awesome. Give, give him a hard time. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Cool. Wow, right, that's well. pretty. Do y'all ever catch each other out while you're out? Over Every there? once in a while. Every yeah. once in a while, yeah? Every once in a while. Was it in uh, Texas? Texas. Texas. Uh, it was uh, somewhere else. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I was backing up. I'm looking. I'm like, I know that truck. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I know that guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, those pins look sharp. I mean, how could they not? I know. Look at those bad. Let's see, I had a top. You know what we need to do? Get one with a, a night one with American flag on it. What oh. does a driver get if he collects all of the pins? Is there like a reward? Like he's collected all of them. He's made it to the like mon Monopoly at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Maybe there's a special I, pen for somebody that gets all of the pens first. Gosh, we got a lot of drivers who already have all the pens. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. yeah. Never mind. 
Yeah. But so, I can do a, an American flag one. Yeah. Yeah. A flag with a K on it. Yeah. But we can't put the K on Old Glory, though. But we can but, put Old Glory in with Glory right. K. Yeah. We totally can do that. All right. So how did the ride along go? Like, did you enjoy it? Oh. Yeah, I enjoyed it. How could I not enjoy it? I mean, for all you guys who have been training with Annie, how can you, how could I not enjoy that? Of course I enjoyed it. Nice. And how, how did you, did you enjoy it? Is I enjoyed it. Is it first time riding with somebody like this? I enjoyed it from the standpoint of one, a lot of good information. Uh, it's just, it's, like you said, it's like nice willing to put the effort in to talk to the drivers, to find out what the drivers need, want, and try to make what's, what's reasonable happen. You know, make the driver's life on the road a little easier, a little better. Absolutely. Yeah, we talked at lunch for an hour and a half. I mean, we were oh, probably wow. at lunch for at least an hour and a half. <laughs> None longer. of which will be making it into this episode <laughs> because it is so, uh, it's, it's Still, incredibly awesome, but we can't share we it. We can't release it just we yet. We can't release it just yet until it's like 100%. That's the teaser. It'll be, it'll be so awesome. Stay tuned. You, sh you should put on there, teaser. <laughs> Stay come. tuned, more to come. Oh, yes. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, there people are going to be like blown away. Oh, yeah. for sure. Oh, for sure. sure. All right, like well, thank you guys for coming out and participating and well, doing all this. Well, thank you. Thank you for letting me share your truck. Uh, thank you for inviting me to be your driver for the day. <laughs>